Okay, yesterday you have learned the, trans the, the, the second transformation which is the translation of shapes. This time you are going to learn rotation of shapes, okay? So this is also transformation. Now, let's talk about our learning objectives. Rotate the shape 90 degrees clockwise or anti-clockwise and apply knowledge in rotating shape in creating. So, being a problem. Now, what is rotation? What does a rotation look like? A rotation means to turn a figure starting from the center point, center of origin, or rete, center of rotation. So the block dot here is the center of rotation. This is our guide, okay? So this rotation, it's only turning a figure. This is how rotation, okay? So this is the center of rotation. The triangle was rotated around the point. Okay, there you go. Now, a rotation of 360 degrees is called a full rotation or full turn. If a shape turns 360 degrees, it will end up back in the same position. Look at the shape below. Let's see now. So do you know what is clockwise? Clockwise means it's like the clock, it moves like this. This is clockwise, okay? This is clockwise. How about anti-clockwise? Anti-clockwise, so it will move, it will turn this way, and this is anti-clockwise. Okay, if you remember your, your lesson before about angles, full rotation 360 is full circle, correct? And if we say 180, it will be only half circle, isn't it? So it will be only this is full rotation, which is 360 degrees. So remember this all, okay? And if it's only turn halfway, so this is only 180 degrees, okay? And if it will turn 90 degrees, so it's only quarter of the circle. So this is 90. I hope you will remember this lesson your, your uh, types of angles. And if it will turn 270, meaning it is a quarter, three quarter turn. So how many triangles, how many right angles do we have? We will have, I will draw it here. So one, two, and three. So it will move one, two, three. This is 270 degrees turn, okay? So it turns 270, 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 270 degrees. And if it's only 90, it's only a quarter turn. And if it's a full rotation or full turn, it will be 360 degrees. And if it is half rotation or, or half turn, it will be 180 degrees. And it depends on that either clockwise or anti-clockwise, okay? Don't forget. Now, let's do this. So this is the origin, okay? So this is the origin, sh original shape. This is, this point is the center of rotation. So if we will turn 360 degrees clockwise, okay, we will rotate clockwise at point A, okay, 360 degrees. So this is start this one now, and then it will go there. So if you can see this one, okay, I will draw it so that you'll see. So it will move first one, can you see here? So it was like this, cannot draw. 
okay and then it will move here and then it will go there and then it will go that is still one one okay so 90 degrees because it started from here isn't it and then clockwise to full turn we will do 360 degrees so now it's half and then three 270 and it returned back to origin because it's a full rotation okay full rotation now if a shape spins 90 degrees how far does it spin only here okay it spins or turns so only up to here then if it will be half so one quarter of the way round so it is called quarter turn or 90 degrees so you can write 90 degrees clockwise okay describe how the triangle a was transformed to make a triangle so this is the original point okay and then it turned oh, i will use this it turned this way so let's start writing it so clockwise and it's only so if we are going to draw our four lines so before it was standing now it is like this so what will be it is only clockwise 90 degrees or you can say quarter turn clockwise okay like this next so this is describe the translation from a to b it is clockwise 90 degrees or you can say quarter turn clockwise or clockwise quarter turn it's the same okay it was rotated right 90 degrees clockwise here is triangle termine how the red triangle and rectangle rotates okay so now let's see so this is the start so this is our origin okay so it went this way So we will say ninety degrees clockwise. Finish. Okay. Let's move to the next ninety degrees clockwise. Okay. How about that? So we have it starting from here, and it went there this is our original point and it went it turns it rotates this side so what will be if this is clockwise what will be here i explained to you before so it will be only 90 degrees oh sorry 20 clockwise Okay. Okay, how about this one? This is our original point, our original position. This is the rectangle. Okay. And it went this way. Okay, so it will be 90 degrees anti-clockwise. 
Next. So this is again, it is here. So meaning if it will rotate to the left, okay, to the left, it will be anti-clockwise. If it will rotate to the right, it will be clockwise, okay? So this is two, it rotates to the right. So it's, it's clockwise, it rotates to the left, it will be anti-clockwise, okay? Don't forget that one. So this will be, so it rotates to the right. So therefore we know already that it's clockwise, but how many? So it is only 90 degrees. Okay, so 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, that's an example of rotating 90 degrees clockwise and rotating the shape 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Let's go to the next explanation. Okay, now let's try this one. Can you try to answer and then check your answer after, later? You can post your video and then answer it. All right, the green shapes were rotated about the red dot. Okay, this is the red dot. So this is our original shape to form the blue shape. So this is the image, okay? The blue are all the image, the new shape after rotation. Describe its rotation using degrees and direction. Okay, is it anti-clockwise 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or anti-clockwise 90 degrees or 180 degrees? Okay, let's see. So this is the original. So to the right, so we know it is, and it only turn once. So it will be 90 degrees clockwise, okay? Now let's move to the next. This is the original and this is the new image. So we know that this original and it stood up and it's the, the rotation is to the left. The direction is to the left. Therefore it is anti-clockwise and it is only 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Let's move to the next one. Okay, this is the original and it moved, okay? So this is the original, it moved this way. By how many? So you can, uh, you can imagine this one, if it will move this, so it will turn like that. So it is only again, 90 degrees. Clockwise. Okay. How about this? So this is the original. And then it went, it's already here. If it will move this way and this way, so it will be, um, so let's try. It can be, so if I will move anti-clockwise 90 degrees, it will be, it can be 90. Ninety degrees anti clockwise. Okay, if you move like this clockwise, it will be ninety. Okay, one hundred eighty to seventy. So it can be also. To 70 degrees. Okay. And this one, if it will move, so this is easier rather than we will move, go along there. Okay, let's do question two. Let's answer question two. Sally planned to rotate the position of her table 90 degrees clockwise. Draw in the grid the position of her table. So it's only 90 degrees clockwise. So this is her table. So it will move this way. 
So it will be like this. Okay, like this. Why I draw it like this? Because the center, this is the point of, the center of rotation, not in here. So if it will be the point of rotation is here, therefore it will be like this. Okay, now I'll show you now. Since, the center of rotation is here. So you make sure that start from the point and then you draw there. How about if the center of rotation is here, I will change the color. How about if the center of rotation is over here? So meaning you start drawing from the point and like this. Okay, that's only 90 degrees. I sorry, 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 sorry. Why it's uh... okay? So this is the original by the image of this point. But if this is the point, okay. So if we we'll move like that, it's only here. Okay. So it start here. I will change the color. So if the point here, the center of rotation, then the shape will be lying on this part, not starting from here, we'll move. Okay, let's move to the next example. In your math booklet, page 118, question one and two, okay. Rotate the shape through 90 degrees clockwise about vertex A. So this is the vertex A. This is the vertex A. Okay. Since this is the vertex A, it will start like that. Okay, remember I told you you start here. So how many? One, two, three, four. So it will be one, one, two, three, four. Oh, sorry. So it will be going up there, here, here, there you go. Okay, so this is now the answer. Now let's do this one. So this is again the point of rotation, center of rotation. So here is a triangle in grid drawn. She rotated it about point A through 90 degrees clockwise again. So it's draw the new position of Ingrid's triangle. So since this one, so it will be only start from here. So let's go. One, two, three, four. So clockwise, so it will move this way. Okay, so one, oh sorry, one, two, three, four. So let's start here, always connected. One, two, three, four. So it will be standing now. So this one, and then how many? One, two, three. So one, two, three, it will stop here. Okay, like this. Okay, so it's stood up already. It will go there, only 90 degrees, so it will be only standing this way. There you go. Okay, in your workbook, page 57, try to, to uh, rotate question one to six. You can pause your video. Okay, and sketch it. Okay. So, as I told you a while ago, you have to mark down your, this is the point of center of, this is center of rotation. 
So it says 90 degrees clockwise. So it will move. So it will move like this. Okay. So, um, so one, two. There you go. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So it will be there. Okay. So it will be like that. So one, two. Okay, clockwise, it's moving like this. Now let's go here. 90 degrees clockwise, this is the point of origin. Okay, so it will be, it will go like that. So it will be standing now. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that is now the new one. Now, 90 degrees anticlockwise, so it will go this way. So now again, so it will be here. So it will go one, two, three. One, one, two, three. And how many this one? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just add a little bit line and then connect. Okay. Next one, anticlockwise again. So this will be the point. So again, you start from the point to draw. Okay. And let's count. One, two, three. Let's count first this one. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I mean four. And then you do like this. And then do like this. Oh. I will use this one. Four, one, two, three, four. And I will do like the same. And then here. And here, the middle. And here, and here, okay, anti-clockwise. Now this one, 90 degrees clockwise, so it will move this way. So again, I will start from here. So it will move, I will draw with this one, okay? So it will go like this, okay? So this is, it will go here. Right. <sighs> so then, uh, two. Okay. Anticlockwise, so it will be here. Connect one to only one. Okay. Okay. So I hope you understand now how to do translation. Okay, I hope you understand how to translate, uh, I translate, rotate shapes using clockwise, the, the direction clockwise, anti-clockwise, and 90 degrees, 180 or full turn. And you can watch again the video many times so that you'll understand. Okay, so thank you for watching year six. See you soon. See you to the next lesson. Bye.